Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to launch and run a Django web application within five minutes on your iPad. So here we go. First, we're going to go ahead and launch an application called Pi2. Pi2 is my preferred software to use in order to do stuff like this. Now I'm going to put it in my working copy folder. So if I wanted, I can go ahead and very easily sync it up to my GitHub as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here up to this little uh, three line thing there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to run and install Django. So we're going to type in, go to PyPy and we're going to type in Django. Now I've already got this installed, but once you do, you'll see that it pops up right there and you just go ahead and hit the install button and that's it. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start a Django project. So we're going to go over here. We're going to go to run module and in here, we're going to go ahead and type in Django admin right down here. I'm going to go Django admin start project and we'll just call it test project. Be sure to select the right location. So we're going to go down here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my working copy folder. I'm going to start a new folder and I'm just going to call it test project. And so we're going to put it in here, hit done. And then I'm going to go ahead and run this. So basically it's going to start that project, that test project in that folder. Now I'm going to go over here, go back. You'll see that test project is there. I'm going to click this folder because again, in test project, I want to start my new app. So I'm going to type in Django admin start app and we'll just call it test app. And again, what you'll notice here is you'll notice that there's, we have test app and we have test project. So we're going to hit done. And now we're going to go to our test project folder. Now, the reason why, again, I put it in working copy so I can easily sync it up to GitHub if I choose to have this as a permanent location. So there's a few things that you need to do uh, in order to get this to work on the iPad. So you should be familiar with this. If you run Django, you have your application and then you have your project. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly add test app into the settings here over here. So we're going to scroll down into the settings and we're going to add in test app just like that. And that will basically now read the application that we have. So we're going to go back. So first things first, we're going to go and open manage.py and we're going to make a small little edit. So what I like to do instead of deleting this, I just comment this out because this is going to be specific to just running this on the iPad. You can always go back and, uh, and change this afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're just going to import this new line of code. It is almost the same. It's just something that Pi 2 needs in order for it to run uh, efficiently on this. The other thing we need to do always with manage.py is we always need to run and make migrations. So very easily you can just go into this again, you can go down to the run module. I'll show you another way to do this as well. There's actually two ways to do this, but just make sure that you're in the folder that has manage.py and then you're going to write manage, make migrations. And it's going to say no changes detected. So that's the first way you can do it. The second way you can do it is you can actually open up manage.py. You can go down here and you can type in migrate for the second command. So at first you'd run make migrations and eventually you'd run migrate. So as soon as you do that and you hit done, what you'll notice is you'll see all the migrations actually get added down over here, which is normally what you need to do. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run this now. So we're going to type in run server, no reload, no threading done. We hit play. And there you go. Now you have your URL that you can use, which is your local URL that you can use. And you are going to go ahead and then just go to something like Safari, which will open up in just a second right over here. So we'll just open Safari and I'll go here and paste that URL and you'll see Django is running successfully. So this is very quickly how you would actually deploy something within Django on your iPad. And you can go ahead and do all the development uh, within Pi 2. I've, I've successfully done some uh, light Django development in this already. And again, if you go ahead and sync it to working copy, you can always go on a Mac if there's more advanced things you want to do. And so there you have it, guys. That's how you run an instance of Django in under five minutes on an iPad. And you can go ahead and develop this uh, in a combination of other tools. You can use Pi 2 as well as working copy to go ahead and make sure you have some Git control. Um, and maybe use some other applications. You can do it in this as well to do any of the HTML front end as well. So uh, if you're a person that is on the go like me, as much as I am, traveling with your iPad is just so much easier. And if you want to get some light development on, this is a great way to do it. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.